Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. This is Sam Prentice, Makes Things Happen. I'm Sam Prentice once again, making them happen. And today we're looking into ongoing improvements on the CR10 S5 as to what I believe is one of the most important parts for any printer, the hot end. Today we're looking at Slice Engineering's latest offering, the Copperhead, how to install and how to get that printer pushing the limits and eliminating heat creep. So let's get into it, shall we? First off, who are Slice Engineering? Based in Gainesville, Florida, they specialize in manufacturing high quality 3D printing components that can enhance the performance of your 3D printer. Chris and Dan head up the CEO roles for the company, each having unique backgrounds, one in geometric dimensioning and tolerancing, as well as manufacturing and backgrounds in R&D. Now with this type of background, it puts Slice ahead of their competition. And this is a company that really knows what they're talking about. Slice have secured worldwide distribution for their product line and successfully funded a Kickstarter campaign for the new hot end called the Copperhead. I wasn't aware of this campaign when I started down this road of upgrades for the CR10, but I certainly would have backed this. Slice strike me as one of those companies that will always succeed, not only due to their excellent products, but also due to their can-do attitude and positivity. I caught up with Dan and Shauna to talk about their products and better understand their determination for success. I would highly recommend checking out their website and finding out exactly what you can buy. Ooh, yes, this is exciting. Bloody hell, big tree tech t-shirt. Look at that, I had to beg, borrow and steal to get that and ask politely, hoping, oh, it's in a box, look at that. Beautiful, here we go. I'm not gonna lie, this was expensive. This was nearly 300 euros for all this stuff. This is the Bontech dual direct drive extruder is the DDX extruder for um, the Creality CR10 and oh, look at that. heat screw mount lovely look at that look at that this is the copperhead screw mount from Slice Engineering um, it doesn't really look any different to the other one actually but either way um, this is a thermistor adapter this is uh, the 0.8 nozzle, also from Slice Engineering. Um, it's another small consumable part. We've got a DDX adapter. We've got, ooh, what's this? DDX adapter set, apparently. Thank you, Bontech. Amazing. Right, this is the new extruder parts. Oh, it's like Christmas. I'm so excited. Amazing. So this took a few days to get to me. It was actually really quick, but they just didn't have a few uh, few parts that I needed at the time. This is a congratulations sticker. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, nice little sticker. Outstanding. Ooh, Bowden tube. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Very nice, very nice. So this is the presentation box it comes in. This is where all the money goes, right? It's not all about the R&D, it's also about the box, right? Apparently, or the internals of the box. Look at that. My mate Nick is. Oh. oh, it's got like a new car smell to it. That's nice. I like that. Jesus Christ, look at that. That's amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. So, when I was emailing one of the guys at Bontech, I was like, it's a lot of money, mate. You know, you need $300 or 300 euros. And uh, he said it's really worth it. And uh, actually, I've got to say, it does look pretty sweet. What can I say about this? So it's got a little uh, pancake stepper motor on this uh, on this direct drive system. I really, really needed to move away from this bloody awful standard CR10 drive because it just is shocking. So Slice Engineering, uh, thank you very much to the guys down there. I had a conference call with them a couple of weeks ago and uh, they're, they're really moving and going places and I'm, I'm so impressed with what they're doing out there. And uh, we had a good chat with uh, Dan about how um, how his business is sort of going, and you know what what's great about that and how it will work. So, thank you to uh, the people that have made all this happen. So this is the heat sink that they sent to me here, and this is the the replacement one that I needed for for this particular drive. They kind of look this very very similar from from that point of view, but obviously it's got this little top bit and this little bottom bit on there, which is obviously different. Oh, I'm so excited! Wow, I don't know what to do first. I should probably read the instructions or something. So this is the Slice Engineering Thermal Paste. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where that goes yet, so we're gonna have to figure that one out. 
one carabiner nozzle changer. Love it. Thank you, Slice Engineering. It's like a birthday card. And then I've got my uh, Copperhead. This is my standard brake. Lollipop. Okay, that's the groove mount that I don't have a thing for. I've got stickers. This is cool. Look at that. That's the hot end. Look at that. Awesome. Alan Keys. Sorry, Alan. Oh, God. Right, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know if I've got everything I need. Oh, God. I need to lay down. I need to lay, I need to lay down. Right, let's make sure that I haven't lost anything. I've got a Slice Engineering t-shirt as well. Check this out. This has been a good day today. Look at that. Two t-shirts. Big Tree Tech t-shirt. Yeah, Slice Engineering t-shirt. How am I going to contain myself? And we're back in the room. Sorry about the dodgy camera angles and the uh, dodgy light, but I was so excited to get this kit. I couldn't wait to strip down the CR10 and get that god awful hot end off of there that's caused me nothing but pain. It was really mainly for me about the Bowden side of it and how that kind of pushes uh, the filament along into the hot end. And I just wasn't happy. I've never been happy with it. It's cheap, it's nasty, and you know, as the saying goes, you get what you pay for. And um, I'm hoping, praying, that Slice Engineering and Bontech, in this instance, have made a couple of products that are just gonna be brilliant and work. And by the looks of things, and certainly the tests that I've done so far, they are looking absolutely brilliant. So right now I'm taking off the old hot end, I have heated the nozzle up, so be really, really careful when you're taking this stuff out and make sure not to burn yourself and make sure maybe that there's an adult around. So the good news here is we are now going direct drive. We're getting rid of that god awful Bowden tube and setup that they've put on there and we're actually getting some quality into this machine. And when we reflect on things like cost, you've got to remember that we're really moving away here from a hobbyist printer to a precision machine. And like any tool, of course, they're going to need to be maintained correctly. Uh, so you kind of need to know what you're doing about it. But this setup seems to be relatively simple. It's a very, very easy process and pretty easy to put back together. So the DDX from Bontech allows you to use most of your existing parts. So you can keep the fans, you can keep the cabling, you can keep the thermistor. And Bontech supply a small adapter for that particular purpose, which is great. Another thing to be mindful of is Slice Engineering also supply a set of tools. I would not suggest using any power tools when you're installing this because it will just mess everything up. Basically what I've done is I've taken the Creality heat tube and the thermistor. There is a very, very small adapter that basically just needs to go inside here. And I believe, hang on if I can find it. Here it is. That's the thermistor adapter. So that's also I've got a compound with it as well. So where your thermistor goes in there, I haven't done it yet, but basically where it goes in there, you just need to slip it inside this tube and obviously make sure that it's compound sort of some sort. Next thing you need to do is basically remove the top from the copper head and Bontech uh, supply this as part of the kit, which slots on top. And then you just need to run a couple of screws in there, which they also provide, I believe. It will only go in one way, by the way. So yeah, that's that's kind of it. And then what happens then eventually is when you've got everything together, you slot this in here, and that basically then slots in. I won't do it just yet, but that will slot in. Okay, so what we've got now is I've just inserted that into here. And that's sitting in there quite nicely now. I'm quite happy with that. Well, here we go. So it's taken a bit of time to get this right it's bloody brilliant i've got to say so there was a little bit on the side of the on the side of the copper head they have a zip tie and it was slightly fouling on part of this which is i wasn't quite happy with it because it wasn't straight but it's really really straight now there's two holes on the back here there's a bunch of cabling parts here that i've got to work out obviously that's where the fans go and stuff but it should just click on like that how cool is that we're closing into the final parts. So, there are two screws that mount the direct drive to the existing CR10 nozzle plate. The fan then sits over the top of this, so in effect we are talking five screws to remove the entire hot end and extruder motor. The filament fan is adjustable up and down, 
Also remember that the copperhead is open source, so you can set this up in your preferred method. This is just the one that I felt was appropriate and had the best support from both Bond and Slice. Plus it aided to ease the whole upgrade as it uses most of the existing parts. So it's almost a plug and play solution teaming the Copperhead with the DDX. Another thing to remember is that you will need to increase your extruder E-step from 96 to 415. Now depending on what control board you're running it's either going to take ages to notch it up or be very quick. I'm using the Big Tree Tech SKR 1.4 turbo board, so in this instance it took less than 30 seconds to notch up and save. The bed levelling is also true to the same thing. Old school disabling the stepper motors and moving the head around or ABL stroke BL touch or whatever you're running at the moment. You should be levelling after doing this upgrade. There is one more thing. When you are bed levelling, please make sure. Do not make the same mistake that I did where I was running it a little bit too close to the bed. It cost me dearly. It certainly did. So what happened? Well, when I was printing this, the bed unfortunately got caught on the nozzle and it actually chucked the glass off and the print off onto the floor. Unfortunately, I left my brand new MacBook Pro on the floor and it's caused this. But that's not dwell on anything, let's see how it printed. That's the important thing. So if you look here, this is a print that I took care of over the last couple of days. Then I decided to print a copperhead snake, which actually is bloody fantastic. There is literally nothing more I can say about how good this has made this printer. The, the copperhead and DDX as a, as a combined entity is just absolutely fantastic so what you can see in that picture that i just showed is that the mesh of the print and the filament just seems to be so much better and more together but hey you know me i don't print little things like this so i decided to scale it up 2000 and i've now printed this uh, again another copper-headed snake and this is using the gtech marble that uh, i reviewed a couple of weeks ago and it's come out amazingly well and bear in mind this is a 0.8 nozzle printing at 70 mil per second um it's great it's it's just brilliant so i suggest once again that you click that subscribe button and like the video and also check out all those links below and i will see you for more next time we are reviewing the bond tech ddx in full next time so we will see you then bye for now